Hello everybody, I'm Dr. Zupikin from Electronica Veneta and today we are gonna speak about the off-grid photovoltaic and wind generation power plant PVWG OG. The trainer is composed by a main unit and a buffer battery. As far as the photovoltaic panel system is concerned, we got a, a panel itself and a simulation of solar light via two lamps. As well, for the wind generation part, we got a wind generator itself and a wind turbine simulate the wind speed. So now let's perform the connections between the main unit and the various parts and see how the data acquisition example works. So let's perform the setup in which all the switches are down and the solar charge controller is powering the battery. Then we need to connect the buffer battery to the main unit respecting polarity. Now let's focus on the photovoltaic panel which comes with a solar emitter and a PT100 temperature sensor. So first let's remove the black protection cap and screw the directional terminal on it. Then connect the three pin directional connector to the pyranometer. Then we connect the seven pin directional plug of the temperature sensor. The temperature probe can be used to probe directly by contact the temperature of the panel or can be left floating to probe the ambient temperature. Then we take the two banana plugs and respect polarity, we go to the main unit to make the connections. We take the two banana plugs and reach to the main unit. Then we need to connect the wind speed sensor. We have to remove the protective lead and to set the hot wire sensor parallel to the ground and parallel to the wind. Please note that this support may be unscrewed so you can remove the hot wire sensor to make probes around the area of the wind turbine. So let's light up our PC. We connect the USB cable to an available port. Then we start the software. We turn on the trainer. Now we are not yet connected to the trainer via USB. We go to connect, then select the available COM port. My case is COM14, then we press connect. Now we start seeing data being acquired in real time and we should see the green LED flashing. Since the trainer is intended for an indoor use, now we turn on the optional module SS1 and the wind generator WGIE to simulate respectively the sun and the wind energy. Once connected to the mains, the SS1 lamps start powering up the system via photovoltaic panel. We can insert the photovoltaic panel enabling its switch and for example inserting an electrical load. In this way we see all the energy produced by the photovoltaic panel going into the charge controller and flowing outside to the electrical charge. For example I can use the generated energy to power on the battery. Once I plug this one on for example I can also remove the load. All the acquired data can be seen on the touch screen panel in which voltage, current and active power of each component is displayed. 
For example, now I see the voltage of the panel, the current of the panel within the total active power supplied, which goes not in the wind part, but directly on the battery. For the wind generation part, we just, just oppose the wind generator and the turbine. Please note that this one is just an example because in a real lab you will need to move the two units far apart in order to have reliable simulation and by adjusting the relative distance between the two units you can have a simulation of the wind speed. Then we turn this one on. In the supervision software, we can toggle with this button the electrical parameters. So for example, this is the wind generation, the photovoltaic generation, the battery, and the electrical load. By having these windows, I can in real time check the evolution of the energy in the system. Then we have the trends window in which we see the time series of our variables. We can just select the one to display and we have the evolution in time. If we want to perform parametric tests on our trainer, we just go to parametric curves and we have this plot in which we can select which variable to show on the x and y axis and we can perform parametric tests by adding and removing one element per time. So if you want to perform, for example, the characteristic curve of the photovoltaic panel, you can connect our optional module PRH1 to this two terminal and then you can unselect the photovoltaic panel from the circuit. So let's perform a last example in which everything is connected and we can see the direction of energy in the circuit. So I turn on my photovoltaic panel, I turn on the wind energy, I insert the load and the battery. Everything is connected and goes to the charge controller. Then I turn on the fan Now we can see in each component which are the electrical DC components of the current produced by each element. Okay, so today we have seen how an off-grid power plant for renewable energy works. So for other details, please don't hesitate to contact us and see you in the next video.